Hi everybody guys, hi everybody, welcome to my studio, how are you guys? Thank you, thank you. Okay, Massimo, Massimiliano, Paul29, Massimo Imasso, Attilio Pecor, Gabriel Franca, a lot of Italian guys. I hope there are some also... <laughs> some other guys from the other countries, I hope, because this evening I will speak only in English. If you want, of course, to place your questions in Italian, quindi se ragazzi se volete mettere le domande in italiano non c'è problema, ok? If you want to place your questions in Italian or English, no problem. Hello everyone! Frank here from the USA, ok! 59 Strat, ok, thank you. Thank you, Frank. Oh, hi, hi. Nice to meet you. Luca Vaccargio, Nicola Bartoletti. Hi, Marco. Okay. Well, let's start immediately. So this was my uh, new song. A big, a big hug to everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, the, this is a live stream dedicated to the a very important, I think, uh, argue uh, about the CPU performance of the Fractal FM3 because many people say that okay th th there are some the resources of the FM3 sometimes are not enough to fulfill our needs uh, we need much more power we need uh, this and that sometimes and we have to, we have to pass to IXFX3 and so on and so on this tutorial is to essential to to share with you some infos regarding how to use uh, uh, the fractal fm3 from my side to optimize the performances of the cpus or, or the cpu of fm3 there are some hints uh, some tip i can and tricks <laughs> i can give you how to use uh, in uh, the fm3 and m most of the time i don't need s man more power for my needs uh, but of course everyone has his needs of course but I hope that uh, this this uh, tutorial will will be helpful for you domanda non in tedesco non not German English or Italian not German thank you thank you so much thank you very much to G66 uh, uh, and uh, let's start what I wanted to show you is uh, uh, my patch uh, my last patch the name is mfdz i share immediately with you this patch this preset okay and uh, to me is a very important because there are some let's say tricks uh, and hints uh, how to to optimize the performances of uh, of the um, of the fractal fm3 well let's start immediately uh, you can see the uh, this patch uh, is a bit complex because uh, there are especially in the in the ambient area you can see a chorus you, you can see delay you can see a reverb you can see a plex delay used by as a plex verb and you know the plex verb uh, needs uh, needs a lot of power to work and there is also a pitch shifter used as a crystal echoes a crystal echoes is a is um need also big powerful to to, to work but uh, as you can see the this CP, this uh, patch uh, is under the 80 percent of uh, the performance of the cpu okay i would like to show you how how, how it works how it works because i think that is uh, this patch is very interesting <laughs> This is a clean sound dry what I, I call it dry clean a 
can I have a boost? Even if you don't see any drive in this patch, but there is a boost. I am switching with uh, the foot controller, the FC6. And when I want to, to have an ambient sound, I switch on the clean. So the crunch sound from the rhythm part. The lead, the lead, sorry. And the super lead. lot of very interesting sounds I will show you how I can uh, keep these sounds all together because it's really important to, to use uh, in the best uh, way our uh, fractal FM3 first of all starting from the amp cab uh, amp sorry amp block uh, I'm using the DZV4 silver 4 amp cab but of course this is for any amp you want of course, the amp and cabinet, let's say, are depends of you, of, and depends of your choice. Okay, in the cabinet, uh, in the amp, I don't, mm, I don't want to say nothing for the moment. In, for the cabinet, uh, I'm using two different uh, uh, impulse response by Valhal IR. Uh, it's based on the DZ, uh, DZ cabinet. One is based on the SM57 uh, microphone combined with the. Um, Royal 121 and as you can see I put the cabinet a bit a bit panned left and right to have a, a wide image of the cabinet itself it's not complete stereo hard stereo but uh, is a bit open uh, I, I tweak the proximity <coughs> a bit for the 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 SM57 but the cabinet itself uh, let's say don't not have doesn't have so big impact on the cpu performance what uh, i wanted to uh, highlight uh, for, for, uh, for the first uh, on the amp block is uh, the the boost the, the boost uh, uh, the, the boost block as you can see the, there is no drive here even i have enough power to use the drive but usually because i use the boost uh, as a um, to to increase the gain of the lead sound or, and also for the um, for the clean sound i want to show you a trick a very important trick any amp block as uh, the um, in the ideal uh, in the ideal panel as the um, the boost control but it's not only a boost of the uh, of the signal Okay, but if you go to the preamp section here, I enlarge all, also the, okay. If you go to the preamp section, there is a, a very interesting things. There is a, the input boost uh, section where you can select different circuits for the boost. So mm -hmm. typically the, uh, the default boost you have is a ne neutral boost where you can tweak the boost level as you prefer but if you want you can use the same circuit of some very <laughs> useful drives like uh, the T 
8 or 8 or the AC boost uh, the CC boost uh, the fast boost uh, for example this is one of my favorites uh, typically for example I would like to use the T8 or 8 uh, boost because give more mid-range sound so instead to put the drive here that the drive has a bit consumption of the I can show you what is the uh, the the percentage of the CPU power if I put the drive you can see the the patch go goes in the, in the warning side so the drive is a quite big impact but if you don't need a special drive you need to tweak a lot to the drive it's much more easier and useful to use uh, this the amp section because the amp section contains itself uh, uh, it drives the circuit the same circuit of the drive of course you cannot tweak uh, the tones but usually you don't need to, to tweak the, the tone of the drive you only need to tweak the the boost level and to um, to apply the boost uh, you want uh, to uh, to handle the boost uh, status okay you can use of course the modifier you see the yellow the yellow mark in the boost uh, switch if i click on the right button of the mouse you can see that i assign the boost status to the control switch number one i have the control switch on my fcc pedalboard i can show you where is it here you can see here i have the control switch so i can set up my this, this the, the, the switch status as i want but i can also go to the controller menu go to the control switch per scene and i can decide where i want in which scene i want the boost on or off as you can see i can have i, I have on the, the boost on on the scene number one and the scene number four the, uh, where there are the lead channel you can see here lead when I switch uh, on the uh, the first uh, the C number one the boost goes on here okay when I switch uh, number two the boost goes off when I switch uh, when I select the, the C number four as you can see so we can you can decide as you want the status of the boost exactly as you control the the pedal the drive pedal okay so this is the first thing to have to save a lot of cpu as you can see at, at least more than 10 percent because the the consumption of the drive is about uh, 10 and more percent okay Andrea, no, I have a question. We make a patch very complex with a specific firmware version and upgrade firmware the reset block reduce the consumption that or not, depending on the sentry or not. No, about the when you up, update the firmware, if you if you don't uh, don't modify nothing, the, the sounds should be stay the same. But when the firmware contains itself some improvement of the amp block or the cabinet or some effect, is convenient to reset the amp block to use the new features of that block my personal suggestion as you can see in my in my amp i don't uh, uh, modify so much uh, the amplifier amp block typically i touch the mid-range and the gain nothing else uh, presence depth master volume and they i i let them uh, uh, as they are typically so sometimes I like to uh, to reset the block and to to listen how the block is uh, let's say is uh, is in the is, uh, the amp block sounds at the default uh, the default parameters. So this is an, an exercise exercise for me is a, is a like a uh, help me to to make a, a comparison. You can do this as you want. Simply typing on the keyboard command i okay i don't if i if i don't press sa save <laughs> I, I i i i don't uh, i don't lose anything and in any case is much better if you uh, if you save your 
in, uh, original preset to another memory, for example, go to presses, sa save the preset to the, the new uh, present number, for example, this one, this is empty, okay? So you can make any modification, and so you can compare your uh, your preset with the original one. So this is easy. I suggest you to to reset the amp block or the cabinet block because sometimes you touch some parameters and uh, there are so much modification that uh, you lose the reference. <laughs> use the and it's, for me, it's much more convenient to to uh, to come back to recover the default uh, uh, configuration. Usually, I don't touch so much the, the amp and the cabinet. When I create my sound, I prefer to uh, to work with the cabinet, to, to search the cabinets I want, and uh, I, I go to the amp list and I scroll all uh, available amp to check if the, that uh, amp match in the proper way, in the best way, with a uh, with a ca amp, with the cabinet block, I I prefer to don't touch so much uh, the amp parameter or cab parameter. You can see here I have two inputs response as a control. It's very easy. It's a, a bit panned left and right. From the preamp section, preamp section, I cut the low cut a bit. Depends of the the impulse response itself, and I cut the uh, I I mid range. It depends of the of the impulse response. For example, Valhalla impulse response sounds uh, bright to me and with high definition. I like so much. I love this the, the sound of the the, the Valhalla impulse response. But sometimes you you find that impulse response are dark, and so you have to let uh, the I cut. Uh, uh, to, for example, uh, 10 kilohertz or more. But this is really a slightly uh, modification of the original parameter. In this case, I don't touch uh, the room air. And also, uh, the only parameter is, could be touched is uh, the align uh, to align the, um, uh, the impulse response when you use uh, uh, two different uh, uh, impulse response. Because, you know, if you have not the impulse response aligned, the, the effect is very bad. i show you. Sorry, I, I've switched. Okay. Okay, so the al alignment of the impulse response are really important uh, to avoid uh, any phase uh, uh, mismatch. Okay, so the first the first hint is uh, to use uh, the preamp boost uh, as you prefer. I show you what is the effect on the on the clean amp. This is quite interesting. If I select the, the C number three is the clean. The clean now is based on the custom audio three plus clean preamp. As you can see, the 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 status of the parameter is practically the same of the of the amp, but the sound is clean, of course. <laughs> I have the compressor to limit the peak of the clean sound. So the impact is not so high. But what I show you is what I want to show you is the, the in the preinception section I have uh, the neutral boost in this case. Uh, 
If I want to change, for example, to the AC boost. the boost is different from the, the the amp you select uh, because uh, I have uh, in the in the C number two and, and number one I have the DZ amp in this and it, it is a kind of boost in the clean amp I have a different boost this is pretty interesting so the, the boost change depends of the amp you select <laughs> select a different kind of booster and of course you can save the status of this boost okay well the other uh, important hints I can give you to save uh, the CPU power is uh, for example to uh, uh, to disable the noise gate. If you have no problem with the noise, you can switch, uh, you, you can put the threshold uh, uh, um, parameter to zero, and you can see here on the CPU how, how uh, what is the impact. Okay, there is a, let's say, a bit uh, uh, points of percentage are uh, are not used. Of course, there is some noise, but if you have no problem with the noise, you can save some CPU power. You can see here, three, four, three, four, uh, three, four percentage points are used for the uh, for the um, noise gate. <laughs> Especially when you use clean sound, maybe you don't need the noise gate. Okay, I I set the volume of the guitar to zero and I solve <laughs> any problem. Okay. Mark, the problem could be solved by simply implementing the, C implementing the CPU in FM3. Yeah, but uh, okay, this is <laughs> the easy way. But if it's not possible, uh, you cannot I I increment the, the power of the CPU. The CPU is as it is. F to me, is enough. The problem is to use uh, the, the FM3 in the best way. Because if you don't use the FM3 in a proper way, any CPU you use uh, is not uh, is not enough for, uh, for for the people. This is this is the problem. As I show you, I don't know how many. Uh, I, I use uh, many model digital modelers, but uh, I don't. I never. Uh, I never had a, a, a modeler compared to this that can have such kind of uh, net network uh, on the ambient effects. So it's, it's really simple. So this is could be comparable with the AxeFX3, but it's a different kind of models. Compare this these settings with the actual modeler, and you don't find so many modeler that are able to to as a, a plex verb with the crystal echoes and and so on and so on okay well uh, another hint I, I can give you is uh, 
to use a single delay block to have a different kind of delay. Uh, I can show you, for example, with the, in the rhythm part, for example, I want to use a delay on, okay. <laughs> And uh, when I switch on the lead, I need uh, more delay. You can easy, uh, you can use only a single block, okay? And uh, use different, in this case, I, you can have two, uh, two ways. Or you can assign the input gain of the, or in this case, I use the delay in parallel. So you, you see the mix is at 100%. So you can, you can tweak the delay using the level or the input gain. I prefer to use the input gain because when I change uh, the delay, I would like to have uh, the the trail of the the delay before. So this is the reason. If you if you set the level, of course, the, in the, in the new scenes, uh, the the trail of the the the, the previous delay is uh, uh, going down or up depending on the uh, of the status of the level. If you uh, if you work only with input gain, uh, you change uh, the delay and there is the spillover of the previous delay without any modification. So you have different kind of uh, um, uh, possibility. Or you can uh, uh, assign the input gain to a, a, modif a scene modifier. So any scene has, has different modifier. Or simply use two different uh, channels of the same delay. I use the I like the st stereotype delay. I use the stereotype for the C number one. For the C number two, I use the channel B, and the channel B is different because the input gain is a bit uh, lower than the, the the channel one. Very simple. I can. It's a seamless. There is no any kind of, uh, uh, let's say, lag or uh, interruption of the sound. A <coughs> Sorry, I switch on. <coughs> possibility or you can assign the input gain to the modifier the scene modifier scene controller and the scene controller you you can select the, the status of the, the controller okay I select the scene controller and I set the status of the input gain to the controllers go to the scene control one or two and you can decide for example in scene number one or number two different kind of values Okay, uh, now I make a random effect. So, when I go to the scene, okay, and I go to the delay, and scene number one has a 58%, and the scene number two goes to the 12, uh, the scene number three go to the 32, and you can, Tweak the delay status as you want. Of course, uh, you can also apply this uh, rule in any kind of uh, uh, a parameter. So let's come back to my choice to use different uh, different channel. For example, for the delay. <laughs> Okay, let's continue with 
with the description so the and it, you can do this uh, for any kind of block for reverb also you can use different reverb uh, using the different channel of the reverb okay another important uh, um, another important uh, uh, means int to to save the cpu is on the reverb to decrease the echo density <coughs> typically i I use two different reverb, the standard reverb and the plex verb. I show you how it, how it, how it works. Uh, on the standard reverb, I don't need so high quality of the reverb. It's better that you use, of course, the economy because it makes no sense to use the ultra high. You only need uh, more CPU. Let's say on the live use, li live, it's pr practically uh, unuseful. <laughs> If I select the ultra high, I only obtained the CPU go goes in the running and the, uh, the FM3 stopped to work. So ultra high and normal. <coughs> it's really difficult to feel the difference. <coughs> Okay, from the eye, in, ma makes no sense. Makes no sense. Stay on the economy, and most of the use are absolutely perfect. Um, if you need the very high quality reverb, it, only in studio you need. But in studio you can, of course, use the sound you want. You don't need to create so special uh, rigs. I, I created these rigs because it is a rig that I use on live. So in, in, on live, I need a, a different kind of sound in the same preset. I usually I use the same preset for all the gig. I don't change the preset only if I need an acoustic guitar or something else. If I if I typically use the gu electric guitar, I don't need to change the preset. I stay in the same preset and only cha change the scene. For this reason, I I need a. Um, complex configuration, complex configuration of the ambience effects or the other effects. And to save, in, in that case, I um, I like to save the CPU to use the most complex uh, uh, configuration of my rig. And on, on live, I don't need the ultra high quality of the reverb. Okay, I also say can save some powerful, decreasing the echo density. Okay, if I, uh, set the echo density to 4, for example, you can see the CPU goes to 72. So there is a big impact. <coughs> and, okay, there is a... The quality of the reverb is mm, is not good than before, but uh, you can, or you can, in any case, you can uh, use it uh, uh, in, the live, in the live situation. <coughs> As I told you, I use this reverb only to create a, 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 an ambient effect, a small ambient effect. Okay, you can stay on six. Six, the quality is still to be high. Why I I prefer to uh, to save the CPU on the reverb because if I need a more complex reverb, I use the plex delay in plex verb configuration. For the chorus, I don't I don't have any special hints to give you. Consider that the four voice analog vo chorus need more power than a simple 
uh, chorus uh, like, uh, for example, uh, uh, digital uh, stereo. I, for the, I look at the CPU, now it's 72. If I switch to the four voice, uh, CPU goes to 76. So it de uh, uh, depends on the chorus. Of course, four voice chorus needs much more power than a two voice chorus. This is quite normal. But in this case, I like the four voice analog chorus and <laughs> I prefer prefer to use it uh, instead uh, uh, other chorus. Um, then I like to use, for, for example, the crystal echoes. In, in this configuration, is not connected to the parallel, but is in series to the, the reverb. So the crystal echoes goes directly to the reverb and the effect is quite easy it's, it's like a shimmering okay you can check what is the if i connect directly to the parallel the, fa the effect is completely different <laughs> If I you connect the crystal echo to the reverb, considering that the plexi verb has a mix uh, at 100%, so there is only wet effect in this line, uh, and th the sound is this. Even the chorus, I like to use different channel of the chorus. Uh, for example, when the, when I have uh, the um, I have two channel with the uh, uh, different settings of the mix. Uh, for example, on the lead, this lead, for example. Okay, I uh, I come back to the initial. For example, if I, I okay, on the lead uh, channel, I like a chorus, but uh, I need um, less chorus, so the mix is uh, uh, set to 14%. On the clean, uh, the sample is a 50%. And I uh, simply change uh, the channel of the chorus. And this changing is uh, completely seamless. It doesn't uh, affect the, the sounds. <laughs> This is uh, a way to save uh, uh, to save uh, uh, a lot of CPU. This, this rig is, is, is quite complex. If you want, for example, if you don't need, of course, the pitch because pitch is is an effect uh, really. Uh, as I can say, the sound could be not usable for the blues sound or other, and you prefer to have drives. Uh, okay, let's delete uh, the. Um, uh, let's go to the to the the sample preset okay and i delete the pitch block and plexi plexi delay block you can see the status here of the cpu and what is the impact of these two block mm -hmm. 
and this one. So, as you can see, the CPU goes to 56. So, the impact of the uh, plex verb and uh, the, mm, the pitch delay are quite huge and is up to you to use in the proper way. Okay, so this is a uh, more is a normal normal uh, uh, rig where you have in any case the chorus the delay the reverb in this case you can if you prefer for example to use the drive uh, block you can use the drive to to make distortion sound let's stay to the the clean part for example okay <laughs> In this case, also in this case, I prefer to uh, to change the channel of the drive instead to add second drive to make different uh, sounds. For example, so uh, I'd like to, to have the the C number three with the fast boost. Uh, uh, driver and I want to create a, a similar scene so I copy this scene uh, copy this scene to the scene number four for example okay and I want to change to change the drive so I want to keep the same situation but with a different drive so I switch the channel to B and I for example use the Zend master drive it's quite nice <laughs> the C number three let's create a preset only with the clean uh, amp and the block uh, copy C num number two okay in the C number two there is no drive for example this is only the compressor <laughs> there is no any lag in the switching of the the channel of the drive <laughs> To switching the channel is the more convenient way to uh, create a complex uh, uh, rig, different rig. D usually, I don't need to to uh, to switch uh, uh, the pres the preset uh, on my live uh, situation because, uh, as you can see, I can select different scenes and to change completely the scenes. You can change, can change the amp, the, the drive, the delay, chorus, any kind of effect. I have uh, four four situation four channel for any block so you can uh, uh, you can calculate how many combination you can do with uh, four possibility to any block switch off off and on and to combine this this drive with a different amp and so on and so on so you can simply obtain a lot of sounds completely different sounds uh, without touching the configuration of the, the rig only switching the channel 
So, the my main uh, suggestion, my main hint is uh, to uh, to uh, to think uh, how what, what is your need before to create the sound and don't put if you don't if you need two drives okay if you need to drive in uh, in series because you you want to boost a, a drive with a second one you can do this of course for example like this but I can do this because of the the CPU power is for example uh, I want to have a second drive or yeah, I, I want to have the, a phaser I, for example here okay uh, I want uh, I, I would, would like to have a second drive here to boost the other drive to create a different combination I want to have a tremolo here so I'd like to have that panel, panel tremolo so I change uh, the position of the ambient effects I put the tremolo here panel tremolo yes uh, tremolo in the panel configuration okay so I have a create a, a quite complex uh, rig but I stay under the 80 percent mm? so you don't need to, <laughs> uh, to 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 go to the let's say the XFX3 because I I, I don't have power <laughs> as you can see I can create a very complex of course if I put the plex verb mm, plex delay I, I I exceed the power of the CPU, but Plex Delay need more, more power. Depends on your need, of course. If you wanted to have a, a very uh, ambient reverb, you can create a channel with the Nimbo Stratus, for example, and you have a sound like this. Let me show you. Two where there is not only drive. Okay, and this is the symptom two. <laughs> drive the rat distortion I change it to uh, sorry I change it to the phase phase for example <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, this sound I like it, for example. See number two. This is typical to boost the 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 fa phase phase uh, with the fast boost. I like so much to me to make this combination. It's the sounds and also under the fingers is very nice. I can add a delay, for example. Which one? I have a, the big delay with the high input gain or I have a low delay in channel B. Okay, this is nice. Let's sound. <laughs> I save this preset uh, when I go to the four. Yeah. Completely different situation. And every kind of scene is totally seamless. Well, another problem. Oh, there is a lag. No, there is no lag. another scene for example the scene number five I copy scene number two okay copy scene number two it's quite easy if you if I if you want to save time copy create a scene then copy the scene to the to the other scene okay to the f five so on the five for example I wanted to have the chorus uh, the, uh, the high quantity chorus the delay with the channel A with a big delay okay and I want to have the tremolo on that's it so this is sound like a nice okay Everything seems clear and no, there are no questions. <laughs> you have no question regarding this. Uh, what, I can, what can I say more? You have no question? Let me check. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Uh, Um, so to summarize everything, I the main thing that I want to suggest, suggest to you, you is to to use the boost amp if you want, of course, but uh, it, only if you need a, a preset like this. I show you this. Uh, this my this is for example is my main pe main preset. Okay. Uh, in this case, I have also the looper. Looper need power. So for this reason, I also mm, create a short rig because even the, the, the shunt needs a, a small percentage of CPU. So as you can see here, I'm 82 because the looper, if I delete the, the looper, you can see here how how is the impact. 3%, four, more than the 3-4% four, is needed for, to the looper. On live stage, of course, maybe you don't need the, the looper. So you can decide yourself to use it or not. God, there are some effects that makes no sense to use it. A queen, and now. Let me tune.
much if you have no other questions I thank you so much you can have uh, you can put your question uh, below the video the video you can contact me via email on my web uh, site uh, marcofanton.it you can put, make a like put a like on the video and if you are not subscribed please subscribe to the video and click on the bell to receive the notification Okay, uh, ah, there is a question from Fabio Carrai. Uh, Ciao Marco, ho letto che nella beta 3.0 c'è l'implementazione di oltre che una decina di drive, non vedo, anche il cavo ultra res e tutte le volte in AxFX. Ok, um, the question from Fabio is uh, on the new beta version, uh, on the new version 3.03, is a new firmware version in beta now. Uh, there are some new features, uh, uh, there are new drives, uh, the same drive block of the XFX3 and uh, there are the ultra res uh, uh, option for the cabinets and Fabio asked me if there is difference there is a difference but it is the same like the reverb uh, if you put the, the echo density on the reverb on f from 8 to 6 you can feel a difference is very small difference but there is a difference uh, of course, it's a good option, but depends of you to use the options uh, in the, the smart way. It makes no sense uh, to use uh, some option like uh, the high quality reverb if you don't need the high quality reverb. Okay, it is a matter uh, of uh, match uh, the performance of the, uh, the FM3 with your real need. It makes no sense to put every all power in if you don't if you don't need uh, all power this is my opinion you can use it uh, if you if you need a different fed you can change a preset of course but uh, believe me i use the same preset for the for the gig all the gig the single i change only the things and i'm i'm absolutely satisfied of the functionality of the fm3 i don't need extra power absolutely okay uh, andrea cobianchi Per risparmiare CPU a volte utilizzo il multi delay che somma in un unico blocco un quad tap delay e un quad chorus. The best of both worlds. I mean, do it Okay. Yes, you can use, of course, uh, the multi delay instead of to delay because in the multi delay you can use uh, the modulation of the delay to simulate the chorus effect. This is another, is another way, of course. Uh, Okay, De depends of your needs, depends of the sounds you want to achieve. I, I, uh, my, my hints is to uh, to optimize your uh, uh, your rig and w with the things you really need. Don't use any kind of makes no sense for to the reverb to use the high quality because on the live stage you don't use the the high quality. Do you need the high quality for the registration? Of course. So in this case, uh, delete the pitch block, uh, the plex delay block, if you don't use it, and use the high quality, ultra high. No problem. 
you can use it. And this rig is still a valid rig with a, a lot of sounds in, 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 inside. But, but the difference is not so high. I don't know, I can rise up the mix. This is ultra high, this is economy. There is a better, let's say, high range frequency, but I increase the time. but it's not the best or worst quality in my opinion hmm? and if I need the different the reverb I prefer to use uh, the Stratocumulus <laughs> from Lawrence Boer uh, is it possible to replace the reverb with the plexi verb for the short uh, reverb so reverb soon uh, soon becomes a problem when playing live but yes sometimes uh, you don't need the reverb um, you can uh, you can use only for example input uh, shunt uh, sometimes you you can use uh, the delay in a, sh a short delay like this <coughs> Okay, sometimes using the delay in the live stage, uh, sometimes you don't need the reverb and you can use only the delay. If you need the reverb on the, you can have the reverb from the mixer, for, for example. But, and use the plexi, plex verb here. Tac, 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 tac. <laughs> Of course, you can change the channel. Okay, copy con cha copy channel to channel B. Okay, I switch the channel. Oh, sorry, it's not this one, but this this one. So. Thank you. 
Andrea Copi anche utilizzato per anni R in ultra res con Axe FX2. No, e devo dire che è una situazione. Eh, e devo dire che è una situazione perché poi questo. Sulla film è impossibile distinguere un cavo ultra res da uno standard. Ok, as a, Andrea Copianchi uh, says uh, for many years uh, he used uh, impulse response ultra res and standard and on live situation you don't you can you can't hear the difference between the standard and ultra res uh, as I told you and, and it is the same on the reverb of course. The only difference you can see, you, you can listen, you can feel in, in, in studio, but in studio you have a completely different situation. In studio, if you don't, if you don't need a block, you, you delay the block. So you have, the, wh what is very important, you have the possibility to have the, the same effects of the, the, the flagship of the XFX3 in a, in, in a, in a, in a, in a small uh, unit, but uh, you're not, uh, uh, let's say, obliged or you're not constrained to use uh, uh, essentially that functionality. If you don't need it, you, you, you don't use it. It makes no sense, absolutely. Uh, Lawrence Boyer, advantage of flexibility is you have uh, the diffusion not anymore in the delays, unfortunately. Thank you for the tip uh, with the pitch going through the flexibility for smearing the crystals. Thank you. You're welcome, uh, Lawrence, of course. Okay. So, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, put the questions uh, below the uh, below the video. And uh, see you for the next time. Stay safe, of course. And thank you very much. See you. <laughs>